Hello, this is Goku for some one. I'm back with a top five list. Me and BK Critic are doing this weekly. Uh, anybody who wants to join in, go ahead. There are no rules right now. This is me and BK Critic's favorites, not necessarily who we think is the best. I do think these are considerably some of the best, but these are who are our favorites, people that we have a connection to, not necessarily the greatest, not necessarily who we think are by far the best all round. These are our personal favorites. Me and him did our number five last week. This is our number four. Just to quickly recap, uh, watch his video, of course. Just to quickly recap, mine was Harley Quinn from my number five. Now let's get right into number four. My number four is the Riddler. Now, for me, the Riddler, I like him only when he's written a certain way. Unlike a lot of other characters, he has to be written a certain way for me to like him. And the way I like him is when he is compulsed to do riddles. He has to do riddles. He's a detective, but he has to do riddles to commit a crime. It's just that's what he does, and that's only... Now, if he commits crimes for other reasons, I don't like his character that much anymore. That's how I like the Riddler. But when the Riddler is written that way, I think he's a really good and interesting villain because he's a man with a problem. He's not completely all there. He has... And he gives Batman a way to solve the problem. And he also thinks he's smarter than Batman. And that's one thing. I had a friend who... I used to have a friend who liked the Riddler. And he liked the Riddler probably because I think he thought the Riddler was the smartest Batman villain and all that, which I've actually heard a writer tell me that was Penguin, and I find that very fascinating. He doesn't think he's smarter than Batman, but he is. And I like this as the opposite, where Riddler thinks he's smarter than Batman in every shape, way, or form, but he's not. And he always, he thinks he's smarter than everybody, and I find that fascinating as a character trait. I also like him in kind of like a green uh, dress coat, uh, the top hat with a cane. I don't like him when he's wearing a, a suit with all question marks on him. I think that's ridiculous. I don't know. The Riddler, there's something about the character that makes him like him. It makes me find him fascinating. I do think he's really fascinating. It's very interesting. And I have no idea why I find him so fascinating other than the problem that I find... Batman's villains fascinating because they all have they're not perfect. They all have problems. They all they all are human and that's why I find them fascinating and that's exactly why I find the Rid Riddler fascinating. He's such an interesting and such a cool character and so well written too. And I don't know if there's anything else more I can say about the Riddler. I will actually say that I hope the Riddler is in the next Batman movie. The reason why I hope he's in the next Batman movie is because of the simple fact that we need an A-list Batman villain, and I feel that this is a great A-list Batman villain. I find that he's very fascinating. I find that he's a very good villain, and I find that putting him in the next Batman villain would be awesome and fantastic, and it would be great, and you could do so much with him. You could make him such an interesting villain. Well, this was Goku Fortis and One with my number four, my top five Batman, all-time Batman favorite villains. Please leave a video response or a comment telling me your favorite ones. If you do a video, do one every week. Um, you can, if you get in late, you can always do, you can always do a video response to this. Well, see you next time, YouTube.